Oh, how are you going? I'm Adrian Devonish, Senior Station Officer at Dandong Fire Brigade. And I'm Ryan Pohl, Qualified Firefighter from the Dandong Fire Brigade also. Uh, yesterday afternoon, the 14th of January, approximately 3pm on the... As we were waking up from another structure fire, not two or three streets away from where we are, we got a call to this house which was uh, more fully light on arrival. The complications were that it was 42 degrees um, on a day that we'd already had a couple of, uh, couple of other jobs. Uh, although well hydrating, like we all do during the day, water and stamina and the like, uh, a couple of the crew members had done a fair bit of work in the in the hours lead up prior to this job. Given the direction of the smoke and impeding our access to the premise, we had to park some three hose links away. So there's another 90 metres we had to drag hose up there with uh, only a couple of us on the truck at that time, given that others were busy and uh, still tied up. Other incidents, it was quite a fair bit of work. As I said, we hydrated during the day given that we knew it was a 42 degree day and where everyone was on 10 hooks ready to go for the day. On an ordinary day, uh, a structure fire is not so much of an issue given that the crew mix that we have and the supporting brigades and volunteers that we have. But on today, 42 degree days really challenged some of the blokes and members that uh, turned up to give us a hand. So given that, uh, we thought about uh, some hydration so early in the piece, I called for the Denon rehab module and the uh, members from Denon brought down some rehab chairs and the like and some cold water. And also later in the piece, um, some additional crews from other brigades. So ordinarily this might be a, a two, three truck job tops, but uh, given the heat of the day, we had to get another brigade or two in just to rotate crews around. And Ryan was one of the crews that was actually working hard around the back. Yeah, well, uh, I was uh, one of the first to, to, to make entry into the house as the BA team. Um, I know after the first cylinder myself that uh, once I exited the building um, that I felt quite exhausted at the time. So what I initially did was uh, strip all my gear down um, and uh, I actually got a bottle of water and tipped over my head but uh, I knew that water wasn't going to be enough. So I mixed up a, a, one of those little squeegees with um, electrolytes in it and uh, consumed a whole bottle of one of those which it seemed to rehydrate myself straight away. Um, also to that, I actually, because of the Dino and Brigade setting up the rehab module, I actually went down and sat in one of the seats and, and put my arms in the cool water. Um, and within a few minutes of uh, sitting down in those seats, I was uh, my core cool body temperature had um, come down enough to actually then look at uh, re-entering the building. Further that, wearing our structural gear, flash hoods coming on for uh, another two jobs, I'd say that uh, one of our fittest members of our, our platoon uh, was treated for mild heat exhaustion by Ambulance Victoria who ended up sending out Health Commander uh, to work with the, the AMBOs on scene to monitor the, the health of the both uh, staff and volunteers that were working on the job. You know, keep keep uh, our, our health monitoring in check for the, for the duration. So that's something that you might consider uh, should you, should you uh, have any job on a, on a day which is as warm or almost as warm as yesterday. Uh, calling in AB for assistance getting other brigades that you may not normally uh, need to help you out for crew rotation, just to rotate crews out, give them a spell, put them in the shade, tip some water over their face and, and uh, rehydrate and get their core body temperatures down. Because I think most of us here on the fire ground, the ambulance service were quite, not so much quite concerned, but they, they wanted us to sit in the chairs, they monitored our heart rates, um, our temperatures, and there was a few, a few members that they said, you can't leave yet, 10 more minutes, we want to get your core body temperature down because that's too warm to be doing anything else.